The marathon, a word stemming from Greek origin, first of all, we know it's a distance race run by people across the world each and every year. People sign up to experience the thrill and challenge that comes with exhausting yourself over a long endurance event. It's a major competition at every Olympic Games. You may find family members training for one, see a local training group, or hear about a major marathon coming up soon in your country. Some top, well-known races that may ring a bell include the New York City, London, Athens, Boston, and the Berlin Marathons. Most may know about racing a marathon, but very few really know about all the hidden gems behind this iconic race. Now, let's take a look into how the worldwide marathon has shaped into what it has become today. Quick fun fact, the marathon predates plastic, cars, electricity, and even the European Renaissance, the place which birthed the modern-day marathon, something we'll connect with soon in the video. For starters, what even is this race? The entirety of the modern-day marathon covers a distance of 26.2 miles or 42.2 kilometers. The race is primarily run on roads and dirt paths, as opposed to shorter distance events in track and field, like the 5K and 1500-meter races, which are run in circles on a track. If someone wanted to complete an entire marathon on a standard 400-meter track, one would need to run 105 consecutive laps to make up 26.2 miles. One hell of a feat for anyone doing that. Now, coming back to the birthing grounds of the marathon, Europe. The marathon's origins are said to have taken place years ago in 490 BC. Ancient civilizations occupying the country of Greece were the originators of what we now know as the marathon. According to legends, a Greek soldier named Phidippides ran to notify his people of victory in a battle over the Persian army. Phidippides ran from the battlefield nearby a town called Marathon, hence the modern-day name for the event, he then ran all the way to his home city of Athens. In Phidippides' expedition, he covered approximately 25 miles over mountains and through plains, which is estimated to have taken 36 hours. In commemoration of the long-distance effort, the modern-day marathon has been a recurring tradition for centuries. Our first legitimate marathon race began in Athens at the 1896 Olympics, nearly 2400 years after Phidippides' original feat from the city of Marathon to Athens. Prior to this time the marathon race had never been formally run. For the initial years of the marathon, from 1896 to 1904, Runners covered an unconventional distance of 40 kilometers, rather than today's traditional distance of 42.2 kilometers. In March of 1896 preparation picked up, runners looking to compete in the first iteration of the marathon, held a qualifier race to find who would be selected for the upcoming race, which was to take place at the first ever modern Olympics Games, held at Athens. The winner of the selection race, Cherilaus Vasilakos, won with a time of 3 hours and 18 minutes. A month after the selection race, the event was held in April, with finalists chosen from the qualifier race, a total 17 participants moved on from the selection race to the Olympic race. Runners were spread across five teams, mainly from Greece, with four different countries also in the mix, including the United States and Hungary. A crowd of over 100,000 people were reported to be of attendance, which filled up the stadium and leaked out on the streets. The city became flooded with fans from across the world, all with hopes of a national victory in the new event. Masses of people at the Athens Olympics came from nearby cities to show support for their home country of Greece with high hopes of winning the first iteration of the event held in their own country. As the Greeks had wished for, the first ever winner of the marathon is a Greek water carrier, Spirit and Spiros Lewis with, who beat all other competitors with a winning time of 2 hours 58 minutes and 50 seconds. When Spiros finished the race, he finished as a national hero for his massive feat against the rest of the world. Our first legitimate full-distance 26.2-mile marathon began at the controversial 1908 London Olympics, up until this point. The race was held at a distance of 40 kilometers. Training for runners during this time looked nothing like what it is today. Spiros, the first winner of the marathon, was accustomed to running 8 miles a day tracking donkeys for his family's water-carrying business. Compared to today's runners this sort of training is minuscule. Professional marathoners get up to 100 miles per week, dedicating hours every day and years of their life to the sport. Another comparison of the first race to today, the Athens Olympics collecting 100,000 people in a crowd, is nothing major as the New York City Marathon garners over 50,000 runners and reels in a crowd attendance of nearly 3 million people. Since the first event in 1896 at Athens, there have been a plethora of prominent annual marathons across the world, which top runners from every county hope to qualify for. Outside of the Olympic Games, the most exclusive marathons include the London, New York City, Berlin, and Chicago marathons. The fastest of the four for men's time has been at the Berlin Marathon, with a time of 2.01 and 9 seconds from Iliad Kipchidge, and for women's time at the Chicago Marathon, with 2.14 and 4 seconds from Bridget Koste. Since the first win by Spiros with 2 hours 58 minutes and 50 seconds, the world record has slowly but surely trended faster throughout history. As the previously mentioned current world record holder, Iliad Kipchidge with 2 hours 1 minute and 9 seconds, is now nearly a whole hour faster than the 
original marathon winner, Spyros. Hope you enjoyed this video, drop a like if you learned something new from hearing how the household name of the marathon came to become the worldwide sensation it is today. Please take a second to comment on what you would like to see in future videos, like and subscribe, love you all from runners to you.